Welcome back to another episode of Kicks of Canada TV. I am your boy Spud. Listen, I'm bringing y'all another range review video. Of course, second stop on this range review tour, we will be visiting Metro Student Supply out in Bridgeton, Missouri. I'm super excited about this. Um, I definitely wanted to do this just because there are different ranges out that's offering multiple things. So, till then, let's go. Joy. I definitely recommend you go in there if you're looking to A, buy your first gun, or B, purchasing a new gun and you wanna test it out before you actually purchase it. I definitely recommend that. That place is number one when it comes to gun selection. As you can see, I loved it. But price-wise, it was definitely out of my category. I didn't like the fact that with the, um, the rifle, ammo like with the rifle like if you bring your own rifle you have to buy the ammo no matter what type of rifle it is you have to buy the ammo it's not like that for the handguns but for some reason for their rifles you have to buy the ammo that's why if you go there i recommend you not even bring anything just rent one of their rifles if you want to have a rifle to shoot that day i definitely recommend you go there and just rent one of theirs because you're paying for the ammo anyway why not shoot something that you that you don't have versus shooting something that you do have but paying extra to shoot it um speaking of rifles uh definitely with the renting i didn't like the renting system uh especially compared to how it was at the range stl where you pay a flat rate and you get up to five guns versus this one, you're paying $16 per rental. You heard me correctly, 16 per rental on the rifles. I didn't rent any handguns uh, only because <sighs> the ammo for the handguns was ridiculous. <laughs> Right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want that one. I don't really want that one. I want that one. Yeah, they in my bag. Fifty dollars a box? No, I'm good. But for the three oh eights, I paid forty dollars for. So really not that bad. I mean, I wanted to shoot the scar. Who wouldn't want to shoot a scar? So I was excited about going there because that was the reason why I wanted to make that number two on the list to go because they did have the both scars in there. Uh, one was chambered in 308, the other one was chambered in 556. Of course, 
I didn't want to shoot the 556. Five, I went straight to the 308. And man, was it fun. Um, but that's one of my reasons why I said, that's what, another reason why I wanted to do this. So that way people can get the entire picture of what they're doing because they do offer a membership. Now, I didn't really read up on the membership that much, but uh, based off of the little information that I did get, they offer a membership where you get a discount on the link, but I think it's still per hour. And then as far as the ammo go, you do get a discount on ammo, but not right now due to COVID. So you're not really getting full membership benefits because they not letting you get discounts on ammo. Um, all in all, I definitely wouldn't use that place for, hey, I'm finna go to the range and have some fun. I would, <laughs> I would not go there and use it. Like, it's a great place, again, for those moments where you're purchasing a new one, want to try or first time purchasing and want to fill it out great place or want to shoot something different than what's in, in your artillery i definitely recommend it like i said i have fun shooting that scar but it was pricey so that's what all that took away outside of that man it's not really too much bad about the place uh i definitely loved it and i will be going back because the guy at the counter showed me this sweet rifle i forgot the name of it but that was also chambered in 308 but because of that 16 per rifle i was like nah man i'm gonna just shoot this seven this scar and then the handguns that i brought with me so i definitely had fun man listen let me know down in the comments below are you a member of a range or do you have you thought about getting range memberships let me know down in the comment section man again this has been another episode of kicks and cannon tv i am your boy spud peace don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next episode is coming. And I got my shorts finally. So there will be a lot of daily uploads to my shorts. More so for basically kicks of the day or I might throw some quick tips on there. But it's mostly for the kicks. Uh, but yeah, man. Peace.